It's an offer from MTN. You buy it for 10 rand, it's one gigabyte. You can use it after 12, up until 6 o'clock. So I will use that data for about an hour or two, depending on which videos I'm watching. I love accounting. I love working with numbers. With meds, they've opened my mind. Do not allow any circumstances to bring you down. The future belongs to you and you alone. Firstly, I didn't like school. From that time, my parents said, uh, no boy, we're taking you to Klianko. I was going to do grade four. So when they said, you can't go to grade four, you have to go to grade two, and I started realizing, no, I'll fail my, my life as a, as a whole. Not even school, I'll fail my life, and I won't reach my goal. So I started to, to, to become more serious. And then press giving came, I was the tax. For high school, I was, I, was, I was relaxed, you know. I was just like, you know, high school, I'll, I'll, I'll find a school. I went to Nkamana High School for grade eight and nine. And due to the effects of the subject, uh, I decided to leave because I wanted to take physics and accounting as one subject. I had a brother, Pilan Steb. He told me that, uh, boy, you, you went to school? I said, yes. I think Harvest is the best school for you. I said, Harvest? I didn't even know anything about Harvest. We came here, then I saw the school. Uh, Mrs. Nash interviewed me and then I was like, oh, this school is nice, I can, mm, let me try it out because the subjects were there, which I needed, and the teachers were friendly. Every, everything was just, I, I felt at home. Bululani came to us in grade 10. Basically, all his teachers identified him as an incredible young man, just very dedicated, very hardworking, very committed to his studies. And so his very experienced, amazing maths teacher said, this boy, this boy's got talent. Mrs. Gordon, uh, during the First term, she came to me and she told me, uh, do you know anything about advantage learning? I'm like, uh, no. Then, do you know anything about advanced maths? Then I'm like, yes, I do. She said, do you consider doing uh, anything like that? This is the first child I've had who's been able to co even consider the AP math syllabus. I said, I have no problem because I wanted a better future. A long time ago, I wanted to do advanced maths from, from grade 9 when I heard about it. But, you know, I had no funds, I had no one to, to, to tell me about it and no internet, no, nothing. We knew Bulalani's mother wouldn't be able to pay, so the board said the school would pay. The school jumped in and said, let's go for it, let's get him on something. We just wanted to help him. When I registered with Advantage Learn in grade 11, I was behind with the whole STEMS work. I had to catch up. He would get the school laptop and go and sit. We've got a little Wendy house there where he could get the Wi-Fi and he would study. Every day after school, I would stay at school, study AP meds, go home, do the homework, study for the other subjects. I would buy uh, data, like the night, the night, the night shift data, the one gig for 10 rand MTN and then sleep during afternoon, sleep, sleep, sleep. Then during the evening, I'll be like awake, catching up, catching up, catching up. I didn't have a laptop at that time, so I would use my phone. Then I'll go back to sleep. They are very helpful at the Advantage Lane, very helpful, very, very helpful. I'll speak to Trish uh, every afternoon. Please help me with this past paper. Uh, I don't understand this. And she will call me 
or send a voice note or maybe write it down in a piece of paper, take a photo again, send it to me and say, do you understand? Say, they are with you, uh, pulling you through and making it possible for you. If I can show you my grade 10 reports and my grade 11 reports, there's a big difference. I think the advancement from the advantage lane has helped me to stretch my mind. Maths was 91, physics it was 89, and accounting it was 88%. There are people who care for your education, who will give it everything they've got just for you.